I want to thank uh, DRS Deepak Pharma for inviting me to convey my experience uh, in this whole Jipet or Niper journey. It is a good initiative to motivate uh, uh, new Niper or Jipet aspirant who are preparing really well for Jipet and Niper. I think my suggestions are gonna help them. Hi friends, my name is Mr. Niradi Shichantan Malik. I have recently passed B Pharma from Roland Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Barampur, Odisha. I have recently appeared in GPET as well as NIPER uh, exam and uh, my NIPER rank is All India rank 44 in MS Pharma or M Pharma and All India rank 11 in NIPER M Tech exam. So I am going to share some of my experience in this whole GPET and NIPER uh, prepare journey which is gonna help you really. So let's start. So I have started my preparation from fourth sem only uh, and I have taken uh, uh, two years uh, GDC uh, prime course which really helped me as well as I also focused in uh, college level teaching uh, which were provided in my college uh, I appeared in all uh, all mock test all full mock test for GFET as well as uh, I appeared for class test and topic wise test also most important stuff for a GPET or NIPER aspirant is time management because classes uh, in daytime so I had classes from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I attended those uh, lectures in colleges uh, those were very helpful in clearing my fundamental knowledges and after that in evening time from nearly 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I used to attend GDC classes and uh, uh, the, uh, those classes were also helpful in clearing my fundamental uh, in important subjects like pharmacology, theotics and most important the medicinal chemistry, organic chemistry part. Okay, so you have to plan accordingly like how much time you have left in my in your hand. So when I have started in fourth sem, I had roughly two years time uh, for my GPAT exam and therefore for 1.5 years from starting, I used to uh, attend college lectures as well as GDC lectures and uh, class test in between but before seven days uh, prior to the semester exam I used to focus on uh, semester topics for qualifying with a good mark uh, and after completion of uh, semester exam I used to again focus on GPET with uh, more hustle and I used to uh, complete all those classes I have uh, left during my preparation of semester exam so but uh, in last semester uh, even though it is semester there are four papers only and those papers are also easy you can easily qualify them by reading one night before exam so I used to attend revision classes I used to attend all mock tests from GDC in last two months and the main part of it is uh, I, I, I was analyzing what were my mistakes in those mock tests and I used to rectify them in subsequent mock tests. So let's come to the study techniques. <coughs> so at first you have to download the uh, syllabus for GPET or NIPER exam. The NIPER exam syllabus is nearly similar to GPET but uh, in NIPER exam uh, few extra topics come like uh, what is current affairs and uh, GK and uh, Mm, all some mathematical problems also so those are the extra parts which will come but 150 questions are from pharma part and all those gk and uh, current affairs will come in non pharma part which have 50 questions so you have to focus on pharma part only make a map of syllabus in your brain that those are the topics i have to study categorize them into major or minor subject uh, in major like ceutics chemistry and uh, ecology and cognoscence in minor hap um, biotech so those have less strength or um, might uh, one to two question will be asked from those subjects so categorize them into major and minor tally the uh, previous year GPET or uh, GPET and NIFER questions from which part of the uh, from which part of that chapter uh, this question is coming so according to accordingly you have to give weightage for those chapters from which most of the questions are asked like uh, let me give an uh, let me give an example like in uh, inorganic chemistry limit test is the chapter from which mo uh, mostly questions are asked in GPET or NIPER and uh, similarly like in cognosy part you have uh, uh, microscopic characters from which questions uh, are uh, questions are asked likewise you have to classify them accordingly and try to finish 
those parts uh, in which uh, you are good in which are your favorite parts try to finish them so you will gain a confidence student got freaked out when difficult question comes in exam but don't be scared okay uh, keep your patience and do all of the questions or do all of the questions which you know well okay so you have to follow a 3d strategy uh, in which we have do don't and delay so in new nbms pattern what happens uh, 25 for 25 questions you got 36 minute so in past 10 minute you have to attend those um, 10 to 15 questions which are easy you have to attend them within 10 minutes and for next 20 minutes you have to attend those left 10 to 15 questions which are generally uh, nearly difficult for you or those uh, those concept you are you have prepared uh, you don't have prepared well so you have to attend those difficult questions in next 20 minutes um, try how much question you can and next five to six minutes what you have to do you have to analyze that yes these are the answers i have given you have to analyze them okay one of the main art uh, main art of your uh, exam strategy should be that skipping some questions which you don't have any idea so skip those questions okay um, uh, those questions will come definitely yes but you have to skip them most of the people gonna skip them uh, you can easily skip those very difficult questions but never do mistake in easy questions okay so the next part is uh, after studying the best way to assess yourself that how much I have studied is to appear in a uh, subject wise test or class test or mock test etc so what I used to do that after studying I used to give uh, uh, either a class test or a mock test like that and uh, what I used to do that uh, after analyzing those mistakes I have made in mock test or a class test etc I used to read those particular topics in which I am weak and again I was giving mock tests or uh, topic wise test on that particular chapter so that I uh, I am uh, sure that so that I will be sure that those chapters are yes those chapters are in my hand and I am cleared about those topics what are the common mistakes uh, that uh, students generally make uh, uh, like <coughs> when you give mock test uh, you have to analyze all of your mistakes but students generally don't analyze in which topic uh, they are performing poor so you have to analyze all of your mistakes and you have to clarify them on that particular day only never leave that that um, I will do this uh, topic letter or uh, in near future so never do that Cl clarify that topic on that particular day next uh, you have to follow uh, some standard books like uh, in your pharmacology it is KD Tripathi and uh, in uh, Pharmaceutics it is Lieberman Lackman for uh, physical pharmaceutics CVS Subramanyam is enough and uh, for uh, Cognosy it is uh, CK Kokate's uh, book and for chemistry you may for medicinal chemistry you may follow B. Algar Sami it is a good book and uh, for organic chemistry you may uh, you may follow Bhal and Bhal it is enough it is enough for so you have to follow those standard books okay uh, what you may do in uh, your semester preparation you can read those books very well so that will help in your GPA journey also next mistake generally people do uh, they leave their GPA preparation in midway uh, by getting frustrated or um, sometime anger issue are there why I am I am reading so much and uh, the results are um, coming very bad so they generally leave the, uh, their preparation in midway please please uh, maintain your consistency don't leave your preparation uh, believe yourself that yes i can yes i can uh, i am reading very well okay whatever will be the um, uh, test result doesn't matter the process matter okay the process uh, you are continuing and uh, you are uh, doing such a hard work so believe on yourself that yes i am doing hard work i will anyhow crack it so what will be your exam day strategy in your exam day be calm okay keep keep telling your subconscious mind that yes i have prepared very well and i am definitely gonna crack it talk less with other peoples okay and uh,
be confident don't be over confident but be confident that yes i have did hard work and i can easily answer most of the questions okay and uh, so next is what is the role of coaching so uh, you may do your self study you may uh, gain some fundamental knowledge about uh, those uh, topics you have read but you need a mentor or a guide who will guide you that how to apply that concept very well in your exam and which topics are much more important which topic carries much more weightage in gpet or nipper exam for that i opted uh, gdc gpet discussion center except that um, i had a uh, i had a mentor or a guide uh, in my college uh, dr nihar sir he was a uh, nipper pass out and was a senior scientist also so he guided he taught me those concept well and uh, he even mentally supported me in my gpet whole gpet journey also so you need a mentor or a guide who will support you uh, in this journey so for that you can opt a coaching center which what whichever you may think that this coaching center is uh, suitable for me or you can make somebody your mentor or guide who is experienced about gpet and nipper next uh, you have to balance you have to balance your gpet as well as academic uh, sessions uh, don't miss your college classes in the name of gpet preparation okay uh, because there are certain topics you can easily remember them in your class by only listening to them and question comes from that topic also so don't miss your college classes and uh, you have to follow a ratio rule like what i used to do that uh, from starting of a semester to Uh, up, uh, from starting of semester to up to uh, seven days prior the exam of uh, semester prior the semester exam, I used to study uh, GPET topics and uh, semester topics in a seventy is to thirty ratio respectively. So this was my strategy. And during uh, um, uh, semester exams, uh, before seven days of semester exam. up to the completion of semester exams uh, i used to completely focus on my semester topics uh, to get a good score in semester exams okay uh, but eighth sem you know only four papers are there and they are easy even okay so don't leave your exam preparation your gpet exam preparation in eighth sem because it is crucial uh, the gpet exam gpet or nipper exam will be near and uh, it is crucial that you revise all those topics in eighth sem uh, what you have read in your whole year gpet preparation uh, in eighth sem there are only four uh, papers are there so they are even easy you can easily qualify them by studying one day before exam so what i used to do uh, after completion of a paper in eighth sem i used to give mock test uh, on gpet or nipper uh, so i did not stop myself from giving mock test of gpet or nipper even in semester exam so i i made this uh, i made this clear to my mind that yes uh, semester exams are only i have to pass them but gpet or nipper i have to qualify them and with a good rank so my advice for new gpet or nipper aspirant that uh, in last 3 to 4 months of gpet exam you have to sacrifice a lot you have to sacrifice your friends your family you have to sacrifice your family function you have to sacrifice favorite movies and web series so you have to sacrifice a lot be mentally prepared for that and your sacrifice and dedication uh, your sacrifice and dedication will uh, ensure a good rank for you and in case if you don't qualify gpet or nipper please uh, don't be sad uh, don't regret uh, okay uh, it is just a mere exam there are a lot of colleges in which gpet or nipper exam Uh, in which non gpet non gpet uh, uh, students can also appear their college level exam and can pursue uh, post graduate or uh, m pharmacy uh, so don't regret uh, your decision like why i have prepared for this exam i did not uh, qualified please don't be sad just experience the flow experience the flow of life that yes i have prepared very well uh, it's okay if gpet did not uh, if i did not qualify gpet uh, No, it's not a matter to be worried about, and I have to, st- uh, I have to keep continuing that st- uh, study. I have to keep continuing hard work, uh, so that I will qualify any other exams. I will get admission. Ad- I will get admitted to uh, a good college in which non GPT exams are also available. And keep doing hard work because uh, your confidence in exam level will be boosted by your 
hard work you have done in GPET preparation. Okay. Next, I want to thank uh, DRS Deepak Pharma for inviting me to convey my experience uh, in this whole GPET or Niper journey. It is a good initiative to motivate uh, uh, new Niper or GPET aspirant who are preparing really well for GPET and Niper. I think my suggestions are going to help them. Thank you.